Hey guys, I know you're itching for some news about Beyond Good and Evil 2. I have received your messages requesting more vids and info. Unfortunately, I don't have anything as of yet. So far, the only thing that's reached my radar is this Instagram post made by Michelle Ansel featuring artwork depicting four ships soaring through the sky from Beyond Good and Evil 2 and concept art from his upcoming game, Wild. As he says, two opposite worlds, two huge challenges, and two wonderful teams. Of course, he's referencing the BGE2 team and Wild Sheep Studio for the game Wild. If you haven't heard of Wild, it's time you do. Wild is an open world, procedurally generated survival adventure game that was teased as a PlayStation exclusive late 2015. The game is set in the Neolithic era where you, a shaman, would need to use your instincts and intuition to survive in an endless open world. In this world, what you do isn't deemed by quest mark or a dev-created user goal. The story you tell is entirely up to you. And it's a story that you don't have to tell on your own. Besides being able to play offline in single-player mode, you'll also be able to share your experience with others online. Open up your world to other players at your own risk. So basically, um, it's not an MMO. They want to get that across absolutely straight away. But other people, if your world is open, can come in and wander around the world and interact in that world. Kind of think the tower in Destiny. It's kind of gen it's kind of just generated on who's around. However, if I wanted to join Jackson's world, I could send an invite or I could invite him to play with me in mine. Players will also start their game in different areas, increasing the chances of completely different experiences, including different wildlife and scenery. One thing of note is that you you will have the ability to possess animals. Keep that in mind if you play online, that eagle might just be eyeing you the wrong way. Once you possess an animal though, your body is left unprotected, so find a safe place before venturing off as wildlife. Possessing animals does have its benefits though. If you hear a predator nearby, all it takes is a swipe on your touchpad to possess an animal near you to get a better view. And it even gets better than that. You will be able to unlock the knowledge of the animals you possess by completing tasks tasks assigned by their god. The question is, how far are you willing to go for that knowledge? Keep in mind that it has been a while since we've heard any news about the game Wild. Of course, with time, things are subject to change. I will be keeping my eye on Wild, so count on updates for that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, click like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell for future updates. See you later.